Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Erin, if this is your first time here, welcome to Booked and Busy. So it is Sunday night, January 10th, and I was just about to take my makeup off. I just went my pajamas on and I was like, wow, why not go ahead and start this week's vlog? Well, I'm looking, still looking kind of decent. I'm a little shiny and the way the light is, it, it makes me look a, a little orange, but it's better than my Monday morning face. So I just want to chat through really quickly the books I want to start this week and maybe make some progress in and just tell you about them. So we've got, first up, we've got The Damned by Renee Audier, which is book two in, I don't know the name of the trilogy, we're just going to call it The Beautiful Trilogy. And this is the sequel to The Beautiful, and The Beautiful is a novel. Uh, it takes place in like 18, 18, 50s 1890s some 1800s uh new orleans and it it has like vampires and werewolves and things like that but they're more subtle and not as in your face as some books and we follow this main character named celine who is a murderess and she is kind of wrapped up in the court of lions and like this underworld of new orleans and this book i'm assuming picks up right where that one left off i'm buddy reading this with alana from the awkward book nerd and yeah we both gave the beautiful five stars in our first read my reread i gave it two stars rated last week my first book of the year hopefully i enjoyed the sequel a lot more i also want to read moonstruck which is a, gra a comic series is volume one magic to brew all i know is their monsters romance and magical hijinks but i did want to like add in like something with some art so there's that We've got The Winter of the Witch by Catherine Arden, which is book three in the Winter Night Trilogy. I am a co-host for The Winter Night Read Along, from hosted by Megan from uh, Meg with Books, Nicole from Nicole and Her Books, and Riley from Riley Marie. This is the third and final book in that trilogy, which we'll be reading in January. The last show for this one will be like the first week in February. Um, I did not enjoy the first two books. I gave one two star to other one star, but I want to go ahead and knock this out so I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> and I love to wait till the last minute to read my live show books. So I'm going to try and change that. Um, another one I want to try and read is Keeper of the Lost Cities by Shannon Messenger. This is book one in this series. I know there's like eight books out, I think, right now. And it's a middle grade series about this girl named Sophie who was an elf. And she's living in the human world. And then she finds out that she's an elf and she's like telepathic. And so she goes to the elven world and mystery ensues. But she has their secrets. And this is a middle grade monthly pick for January. And this is uh, Gavin and Jade's book club. And then we've got The Grace of Kings by Ken Liu, which is book one in the chorus, uh, the Dandelion Dynasty series. And I've heard really great things about it. Uh, and the things that I've heard made me want to read it a lot. Nicole recently read it. Uh, she didn't enjoy it as much, but what she didn't like about it, I think I'll like. And then Tammy recently read it and gave it five stars. So I'm really excited to get into this one. Um, it sounds like it's going to be right up my alley. I don't really know much about it, but I know there's a lot of political intrigue. And I know the first book more so follows the actual history of the events that are taking place in the story. Um, and there's a lot of political intrigue, there's a lot of action, there's a lot of war, things like that. So that's um, right up my alley. And the final book I'm going to try and make some progress in is An Echo of Things to Come by James Islandson. This is the second book in the Lycanius trilogy. I read book one last week. It was the Busy Bee Book Club book for the month of December and was co-hosted by Katie from Brightness Katie. I will leave a link to the live show and to Katie's channel down below. But I really enjoyed the first book and I want to continue on and not just have a whole bunch of time because I do own all three books now. Because after I, I was like halfway through the first book, I was like, I really like this. Let me buy the sequels. So I'm hoping to make some progress with that one as well. So what I'm planning to do tonight... Tonight I'm planning to read all of Moonstruck and then maybe get to the first 50 pages of The Beautiful. I have my little tabs here so that I can um, break up the pages. And yeah, so let me see. 50 pages is like this much. So I don't think it'll take me that long. And this is right at 400 pages. So yeah, I tab to the 100 page mark. So I'm going to do that and then I will check in with y'all tomorrow, probably on my lunch break when I have an update and we'll get the rest of the week started. So I will see you all in the morning or in tomorrow. I'll see y'all tomorrow. All right. So hello, friends. It is Monday night. I'm back with a reading update. Let's get the bear out of the way first. This was one star. This is terrible. It literally put me to sleep. I had an awesome nap as a result. Um, this is not for adults. This is ready to eat for everyone, so I would read it for children. 
um the art was cute that was it it didn't have any plot the characters were unlikable the like conflict was literally solved with a whoosh i do not i'm not joking it literally was like whoosh and the next page the villain was captured and that was it <laughs> like the characters had like really weird switches halfway throughout like one girl was like really really sweet and all of a sudden she started being really mean with no explanation uh, our main character was like such a like softy like she was a wimp everyone was being mean to her all her friends were supposed to be caring about her or mean to her and she just like whines about it and just keeps hanging out with them and it was supposed to be like a romance but then there was like a third wheel horse situation literally a centaur uh <clears throat> it was very weird it was not cute the romance was not swoon worthy um I would definitely be unhauling this and I will not be continuing on in the series. And I was wondering if it was just me. So I did go read some reviews on Goodreads. It turns out it was not just me. Also, <clears throat> I didn't start early because I'm talking about it in a minute. But I did start The Damned. I am um, 57 pages into it and I'm having such a good time. I'm liking it so much more than The Beautiful. So far we're following, Sel not Celine, but we're following Odette and Bastian. And I'm loving uh, getting dual POV in this one. We have not yet reunited with Celine, but it does pick up literally one day after the events of the beautiful. So I am enjoying that. Earlier today, I was I edited and uploaded two videos. So I posted my vlog, and then I um, worked on my unhaul and my December wrap up, and then I was taking notes from like Lala's. Um, thumbnail video and like i'm literally going through each month and like trying to get inspired take inspiration from those so the first two thumbnails i did i'll pop them in right here because those videos will be up by the time you see this and i'll link them down below um the thumbnails were inspired by the month of january when she was working off of cindy for me with cindy's um videos so i think these turned out pretty well these are definitely a lot more bright and engaging i think than a lot of my other thumbnails so i'm interested to try out some different styles and like see what i like so i did that and then it is currently 8 30 so pretty early and i'm gonna i'm making some soup right now it probably won't be ready tonight but that's what i'm doing but i'm at least gonna make it to page 100 of this before i pick up another book um i may pick up so right here is where i keep um the other books that i'm trying to read this week so i'm not sure which of those i might start next maybe keepers just for like a change of pace or maybe i'll grab another manga or something because that one was not good but yeah that's where i am right now i want to give you all an update if anything significant happens or if i start another book i'll update y'all tonight if not i'll talk to y'all tomorrow during lunch i'm trying to update this vlog every single day fingers crossed uh, so so far i started on sunday updated on monday Let's keep this going, folks. Bye. I've made it to page 234, and I'm still really enjoying it, but I'm going to go to bed because it is after midnight. I'm definitely going to read some more work tomorrow because I have a lot of free time. Well, one hopes, but I definitely plan on finishing this tomorrow. I have about 170 pages left. I'm really enjoying it. It's my first read of the beautiful. I loved it. Gave it five stars. Reread. Didn't go well. My first week of the damned, I'm loving it. I'm loving it even more than the beautiful. I'm loving that we have multiple POVs. I'm loving it. Honestly, we spend more time with Bastien than we do Celine. I'm loving that we're getting more about the underworld and about the other world and the different races of people. There's like a little plot twist um, about a character that was really interesting. So I'm um, definitely having a good time with it. I'm very pleased and then tomorrow I'm gonna finish this and I'm gonna start something else. Maybe I'll do Keepers of the Lost Cities um change of pace. But I also wanna pick up some non fantasy. So maybe tomorrow we'll go to the shelves and pick up a non fantasy. So I will see y'all in the morning. Bye bye. Hello vlog. It is Wednesday night. I did not update y'all yesterday, so I'm already failing at updating you every day <laughs> like I said I would. But uh, I did finish The Damned yesterday and it was so good. Is it probably gonna be like a four or five star? I haven't read it yet because I need to run it through Copayo, but it was so good. It was so fun. It was so angsty. It was just what I needed. Um, I have not started another book. Today was kind of like a YouTube day. Like I filmed my best books of the year, quarterly favorites, um, 21 books series 2021. I've been editing and uploading those. 
um that's been like the majority of my day i did have some work meetings to go to but i am going to be starting a new book tonight hopefully um i don't know what though i did tell y'all we we're gonna go over to the shelves and i was gonna pick something non-fantasy but honestly if you've been here a minute you know that i don't have that many so i'm kind of in the sci-fi mood but i kind of want to read the books that i said i was going to read this week so i might even pick up on um, the year of the witching because that's the busy Bee book club book for january go ahead and get it out of the way but um things i'm trying to read so the winner of the witch was this third book in um the winter night trilogy because i am a co-host for the winter night read along to find a book i don't want to be right into the last minute again because i haven't enjoyed the series so i do want to get that out of the way um keepers of the lost cities the middle grade i think i'm gonna try this i'm gonna read the first chapter of keepers um the the grace of kings and an echo of things to come which is book two in the lycanian trilogy um alana is doing sprints right now and i'm gonna try and uh, read with her i'm actually actually i'm just gonna ask her can i join the sprint and then maybe i'll be forced to read so i'm gonna do that right now and i'm gonna check back in good morning friends today is saturday the 16th um it's the inauguration the inauguration is next week so i did some shopping yesterday so i don't have to leave the house um soon so i'm gonna do like a bookish haul and unboxing and then like show you some lifestyle stuff that i picked up and then i'm gonna go get my nails done and hopefully sometime we're gonna do some reading so i'm gonna tell you my reading plans for the weekend i'm thinking this might be like my january reading vlog so we'll see because although i have read and finished books like the first week of the month i read like a ton and it was because like, I had lashes and stuff like that, but I didn't enjoy a lot of the things that I read. So, like, today is the 16th, and I've finished The Beautiful and the Damned, um, The Shadow of What Was Lost, The Bear and the Nightingale, um, The Girl in the Tower, Nick and Charlie, The Little Novella, um, I think, and Moonstruck. So, those are the seven things that I read, which isn't a lot, because, maj like, majority of it was read in the first week. Um, but I didn't really enjoy, like, I didn't really enjoy The Bear and Night and the Girl and Tower. Like, kind of pushed myself through those. Like, those were two-star, one-star reads. Uh, and The Beautiful was also a two-star read. I enjoyed The Damn, but also I haven't posted my, like, one or TBR. So, it's like, it doesn't really exist until I post it. So, I don't have a set TBR to go off either. And I'm not in the mood for the things that I'm telling myself I'm in the mood for. So, we're going to talk about that when we get to the haul. But let's start with the unboxing. We got more packages from uh, my mama. So we're going to start with this fairy loot box. Now, this could, in fact, be a fairy loot box or my November fairy loot. Or it could be, like, my mom using a fairy loot box that was at the house to put other things in there. We do not know. We will find out together. All right. Yes, this is actually my November fairy loot. Okay. So we've got the Enemy to Lovers, all right, the um, stuff. I know most of what's in here already because it's January. So we've got char three character, is it a three? Three character cards. So we've got the Knight of Swords here, the Seven of Swords, and the Eight of Swords. I have no idea where any of these people are from. Um, let's grab these to already peel these out. And I need these. These are bookmarks. And they're from the book. So I guess they're double-sided. So we have Ash on this side. And Megan on this side. And these are from the book, I believe. I know these two are from the book. We have Juliet and Roma. And I need new bookmarks, so I'm very, very happy about those. And then, let's see, what's this? Let's try to get all this off, because I'm not trying to vacuum my floor right now. Okay. Is this a scarf? Ass of War Scarf, A Song of Race and Ruin. Okay. I feel like... I have another Ask War item. It says, come and gather, a story is about to begin. Oh, that sounds very, like, circusy. So we've got this. 
And, like, it's e easy enough to hide the, like, bookish coat if you're, like, not into, like, wearing it, I think. So, okay, scar. And then we got a bag. And I know what this is. I haven't, like, seen it, seen it. But I know what it is. Because this box is enemies to lovers. So, that's, like, of course, the fandom romance are fandoms that have been enemies to lovers. So, this is a Jude and Cardin bag. How precious is that? Jude and Cardin from the Folk of the Air. Cardin look a little soft, but that's okay. Nice little tote bag to carry things in. I'm constantly going from place to place, so I, I need all the bags I can get, honestly. <clears throat> We've got this. I'm not sure what this is. Is it, is it a keychain? Or a magnet? I don't know. That's what that is. Uh, we'll find out what that is. We've got a hair tie. Oh, pretty stretchy. Oh, we have more. Another two more bookmarks. Cool. Um, I really need these. So we've got. Oh, these are from different fandoms. So we've got Resand and Feyre. And then we've got Lou and Reed. So I know what book Reed Santa Fe are from. I don't know what book. Oh, wait. Lou and Reed. These are from um, Serpent and Dove, right? And then we've got a sticky screen cleaner. Okay. Can never go wrong with that. Um, and then we've got the book. I do know what the book is already you probably know too i also just woke up so my voice sounds a little crusty sorry but the edges though pretty these violent delights by chloe gong and it's like a pink thing rather than like the gold or red and it has these really pretty pink sprayed edges there's art under the dust jacket and it is signed with the sign book plate this is so pretty i can't wait to put this on my shelf all right so that was the november oh wait there's something in here hold on all right we've got a like the regular um spoiler card uh bookmark uh, I, which i need honey uh the the re dear reader art print the fairy scoop and an annotated chapter that's neat all right so this is november fairy loot this book is so pretty and it's definitely a book i wanted to read i just didn't buy it because i knew it was going to be a fairy loot book if you're ever wondering like how to know if you subscribe to book boxes and you and you want to know what the book is in advance and you don't want to make sure you buy it just google it like honestly you can google it or like just google the synopsis and put in like YA fantasy 2021 release 2020 release in the description and it'll, it'll tell you the exact book or if you just go in the comments you'll be like oh i know what this is another time i guess and if you ask them they'll tell you easy you don't ever have to wonder about what the box is going to be okay um now let's do a luma crate <sighs> try it again all right oh so we got a mug and a luma crate exclusive mug by rosie thorn what is lost i don't know okay this is a december luma crate um let's see i hate i hate little um openings like this where you have to like reach in there because i'm just like i'm not trying to break a nail today honey i don't know is this from david Bad? Excuse my nails, y'all. I'm going to get them done today. Oh, that's a mug. That's very cute. 
Um, so we've got a Legacy to Protect, December 2020. We got this little pouch. It's got the pen. Ah, it is inspired by the book. Very cute. Oh, and this is a two book month. Yes. So the first book is the extra book. And we've got The Cousins by Karen and McManus. And it's got like pretty black sprayed edges. Okay. And I think this was in like advanced release or something like that. But I do think The Cousins is out now. But like these black edges look good. Secrets, lies, inheritance. The family first, always, right? The cousins. Sounds like it'll be a good time. Um, I'm trying to get more into YA mystery because I don't adult thrillers aren't doing it for me, but I am enjoying middle grade ones. So I'm like, maybe I do, maybe I like YA mystery. And then we have the book book that were on top. Another pretty pink edge book and this is the ravens by Cass morgan and daniel page these sorority girls are real witches only their sisterhood can save them oh okay and then let's see it's like a magenta under the dust jacket there is no art it's a very pretty naked park over there and there is a signed book play as well so i got two pretty pink books all right, what else is in here? Is this a nail file? I'm not a nail file type of gal, and I don't use glass nail files especially, but, you know. It's a binder. History, huh? Bet we could make some Casey McQuiston. Oh, it's a photo album. Oh, that's cute. Okay, this is cute. All right, that's that'll be my couple journey. Then we've got this notepad. It says, Destiny is a myth. Destiny is, only, is the only myth. The gods choose nothing. You choose. Right? Quote from R. Kwong. I'm assuming the poppy war. Because there are poppies. And then it has like days of the week. And space for your TBR and to-do list. That's cute. And then there are magnets. Oh, oh that's called Hilo. Shay and Lynn. Oh my gosh. This is definitely my favorite item. I, I forgot they said it was something Jade City related. What's the theme again? A legacy to protect. Oh. I love this. And then there's um something about the cousins. So that was cool. That was a really neat box. Um, obviously my favorite item from that box was the Jade City stickers. Um, or like magnets, I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, that was that was so fresh. And the mug is really cool. So let me put all that away. And then I'm gonna show you the books that I bought yesterday. Because I haven't been to the bookstore in a week. And I know next week I'm not going to be able to go. Because it's going to be insane where I live. They've already like closed down the streets. And I mean, I a whole bunch of stuff. And I live near the capital. So, it's a lot. Alright, so books that I bought. Where is the bookstore bag? trip to Barnes and Noble and I picked up let's see the blackest heart which is book two in the five warrior angel series by Brian Lee Durfee I have the first book it's like epic adult grimdark fantasy uh, I'm really excited I've heard amazing amazing things about this and I know the third book is coming out soon and the author is like a youtuber as well um, but yeah it's a chunker it's thick like I like it and it's dark and violent and this one is 930 pages and he said that the last one is even bigger so I'm excited about that and then I picked up shipped 
by Angie Hockman. This is an adult contemporary romance. It says the unhoneymoon the unhoneymooners meet the hating game, which I love the hating game. I didn't like the unhoneymooners though. And so these two people who are competing for this like promotion and they have to go on this dream vacation together to figure out how to like market it. The way I didn't even tell you what this one was about, well, I don't know what this one is about because I haven't read the first one. So reading that synopsis wouldn't do anything for you. And then I picked up Nine Fox Gambit by Yoon Ha Lee. This is an adult sci-fi novel and it's pretty short. I've heard it's like super epic and the, the science, very science heavy. Um, I heard about this specifically and I picked it up on the recommendation of Angela from Literature Science Alliance. I like the link right in the description. Um, but it just says when Captain Kel Cheris of the Hexar J is disgraced from her unconventional tactics, Command gives her a chance to redeem herself by retaking the fortress of the scattered needles from the heretics. Her best hope is the undead tactician Shuol Jidao, who has never lost a battle and who went mad in his first life, massacring two armies, one of them his own. As the siege wears on, Cheris must decide how far she can trust him because she might be his next victim. Sounds violent and I really into sci-fi and it's short and I've heard great things, like I said, from Angela. So I'm excited. And like, look at that cover. Very pretty. And I read Yoon Ha Lee's Middle Grade, and I really like the science aspects of that, but I thought I would enjoy her adult work some more, so that's what I picked up. And I picked up Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. Like I said, I've been, I really enjoy a middle grade mystery, and I've been wanting to read more mysteries, and I've heard great things about this YA one, so I'm like, okay, I pick it up. And like, the last four or five times I've been to the bookstore, I picked it up, and I didn't buy it, so I was like, okay, Aaron, just, just get it, finally. And then the last two books I picked up were How to Love a Duke in 10 Days by Kerrigan Byrne and Nothing Compares to the Duke by Christy Carlisle. These are both historical romances about Dukes. Um, this one is about a man who is trying to get revenge and he's trying to um, uh, get rid of his debt that he inherited when he inherited his title so he get married, married to this lady and she has like a dark secret. And then this one is about... Um, this man who's trying to also get revenge and he falls in love with this girl but like something's going on with those so uh speaking of those this weekend is actually historical romance weekend hosted by jess from jess pete from peace love books and the like glacy from i think it's remarkably that might be remarkably lisa something like that i'll leave them down below but i do love romance i have not read any romance thus far this year and i think i need like a palette cleanser so i did pick up some romances and like i maybe i was gonna do like a separate historical romance reading vlog but i might just like read these this weekend or try and read this and one of these and just spice up mix up my reading a little bit and just see if it puts me back in a good mood all right lifestyle stuff so I got a new yoga mat. So I don't know if y'all follow um uh Casey from Blog Alotties, but I like watch her YouTube channel and her workouts and stuff. And so she came out with like a fitness line. So I got the ultimate fit kit. It has a yoga mat, a massage ball, a mat strap, and booty bands. Uh I meant to get the socks, but I think I just like put them down accidentally to like yoga socks. So I like doing yoga. I used to love going to like a yoga studio, but honestly I can't do that right now. I bought some new pillows for my bed because I like a lot of pillows and I only have like two and I need more so I got those. Um, this is just like everything I bought yesterday. I bought a new mirror for my makeup to go on my desk. Um, nothing crazy. The other side is like five times um, magnification. I got a diffuser. Uh, I used to have one in Korea, I really liked it, and then I didn't buy another one, I got back. And I got some new sheets. I really like Ray Dunn. Um, so I got some sheets, another a sheet set, and they say like, relax on them. And my room is like black and white, so this is perfect. And like my chair and like my book cart, I bought also Ray Dunn. I like the font that they use. So, um, yeah, and I got these little like, Coconut macaroons, drizzled in chocolate. I was at like uh, TJ Maxx, Marshall's Home Goods, stuff like that. They always have like really neat um, little snacks and stuff. These are like completely like non-interesting things, but I got these slot gliders to move my furniture because I'm trying to reorganize my room, and I don't want to always wait for my friend to come over to do it for me. So I'm gonna try and be an independent woman. And like uh, some makeup wipes and like a hair. Uh, um, microfiber hair towels. I need to do my hair. And then I bought some essential oils. So we've got, uh, 
eucalyptus and peppermint oil and like this other oil that doesn't have a name it seems for the diffuser and then i bought this basket it's gonna be my currently reading basket so like i have a tbr cart which i don't really use the way i should um but i'm gonna have this like on my bedside so all the books that i'm actually actively reading and like the little knickknacks related to those like tabs and all that can just go in this little basket here and also when i travel to my friend's house and i can just grab my basket of my books and go because i hate to go without my books and i don't travel with just one book just in case i finish that book and then i'm in the mood for another book and then like you know all those things and then i got some earrings like some like fake upper ear earrings that were on sale at Target. I love earrings. I'm thinking about getting a piercing up there. So, uh, and that's like cold medicine. It's like that. So, that's all the interesting bits. If it was interesting. I am going to go get my nails done. And I will talk to y'all later. And maybe when I talk to y'all next time, I'll have like an actual reading update. Wouldn't that be crazy? Alright, hello friends. Today is Thursday, the 21st. Um, um, it's been a minute since I updated this vlog because I was not home for the weekend because uh, of the inauguration foolishness and I didn't take my camera. So I kind of vlogged on Instagram. So I'm back with some reading updates um, and a little bit of a haul per use. So let's go through the reading updates first. So I read The Way of the Households of Volume 1. I gave it two stars. It was cool. The art was really nice, but there actually is no story. There is no plot. Like, there is no like central thing happening. It's just like a re repetition of the same like he's a Yakuza immortal warrior dragon thing but he's a household and he's making lunch and buying pillows and like but there's nothing to keep you going. So while I did enjoy the art and the concept was really cool, there's no story. And because there's no story, I won't be continuing on to still not get a story. I read this historical romance called Nothing Compares to the Duke. I just pop it in right here. Gave that two stars. It was not very good. It was very unrealistic for a historical romance. I wasn't particularly... Um, invested in the relationship with the characters it was so yeah not enough about that um i started and dnf shipped i dnf that 100 pages at 70 pages i even took that back to the store because uh the characters were uninteresting their premise was really good so like the unhoneymooners beats the hating game which like yeah but it wasn't great and i uh, I read the entirety of this yesterday. This is How to Love a Duke in 10 Days by Kerrigan Burr. I gave this five stars. My first five stars since like November 14th. Uh, it was great. It was not even enemies to lovers, but it was like forbidden love, beauty and the beast, uh, murder mystery, marriage of convenience, spinster trope. Oh, it was so good. This is historical romance excellence so in this one we have our main character uh alexandra who is a doctor she's like an archaeologist and um i will say trigger warning this book opens with a rape of our main character page one be warned like if just be warned that's exactly what you open with i had no knowledge of this there is no trigger warning nothing it just says to every survivor hashtag me too and i'm seeing that now but like i didn't know that that was enough i don't think that's enough um to going into a book that starts with like a pretty uh graphic rape scene so i just want to make sure i call that out but other than that and it does play a part of like our character and her growth and things like that but our romance between Pierce and Alexandra, their relationship between each other, the actual murder mystery in here was really good. I definitely will continue on the series. I know the second book is out, but the third book comes out, I think, in March. So, 10 out of 10 recommend. This was so good. I also have been reading The Eye of the World by Robert Jordan. I am 200 pages into this, and I'm buddy reading this with Monty from It's Monty Price and Aries from Just Justice from Aries Libraries. I will leave the link down below. So far, this is a very boring book with very boring characters in a very boring world. That's all I got. Um, I will say the villain that we've been introduced to is interesting. 
so that's all we got so far granted i still have a lot more story to go i still have 500 pages of this and 13 other books so like i said i'm giving this series three books to see how i feel about it and whether or not i want to continue on but i am excited i do already own the second book and i'll pick up the third one soon because like i said i want to kind of marathon that is my preference for the series um because i want to know if i'm going to be continuing with this or not so those are all of the reading updates from this weekend and then let me get into the haul so i picked up the diabolic by sj kincaid um this is like a young adult sci-fi novel it says a diabolic is a ruthless a diabolic is powerful a diabolic has a single task kill in order to protect the person you've been created for and so we have this person robot type thing and she has to impersonate the person she's supposed to protect and things go from there uh ya sci-fi i actually want to read more ya this year than i did last year i think i read like 20 ya books out of 216 last year so it's not a lot but i i want to find what i do still like in ya because some of the premise <clears throat> some of the premises that YA books have I'm really interested in and things like that and I want to you know be able to discuss and recommend some young adult books because I know there are some good ones out there I just have not had any luck with them um these I picked up Bernard Cornwell's The Last Kingdom which is book one and I don't know what the series is called but it's book one it's historical fiction and it is the, what the story the show The Last Kingdom on Netflix is based on I know it's about Vikings in the 9th century. Uhtred, son of Uhtred, son of Uhtred. And I'm just ready. Like, I'm so excited. Because, like I said, I wanted to read more historical fiction this year. And it's a genre I really enjoy. And I want to make sure I'm prioritizing it as well. And also, because I read so much fantasy and I'm trying to read less romance, I want to be able to, like, intersperse other genres throughout my fantasy reading. Because that ensures that my enjoyment of my fantasy books is more high, is higher because I'm not um, like having fantasy burnout, which is why I read like a lot of romance this weekend. And also, it makes sure that I am prioritizing the other things I want to read. I picked up Binti, the complete trilogy um, by Nettie Okorafor. This is my memory card filled up, so sorry about the angle change. But as I was saying, uh, an adult sci fi novella series. Um, where something happens on this ship where she's going to the school and she's like the only survivor and she goes to the school and like things like that. I don't want to go too much into it because they are novellas and because this is a binder, I think the synopsis has all three synopses on this. So I don't want to spoil myself, but yeah, I'm excited for this. Planning to read this in February. I picked up the Wall of Storms by Ken Liu, which is the second book in the Dandelion Dynasty. The third book is like The Veil Throne comes out later this year. Um, Nicole read this and the first book and she her thoughts on it made me really want to pick it up. So I picked up the first one. And Tammy uh, has recently been reading the series and absolutely loving it. Her tweets made me like go ahead and pull the trigger. Uh, this is a very thick boy. It is like um, 850 pages. But what I've heard about the series, I think I'm going to freaking love it. So I'm hoping to start this soon and read the first two books and prior to the third book coming out. And it's, this weird thing about me is if I have a book that's part of a series, I will not read the first book until I read the second book. Just in case it, like, it's going to end in a cliffhanger or something and then I don't have to wait. It's very weird. But like once I have a second book or a sequel, I'll read the first book so much faster. I don't know. It's a weird thing about me. Um, I picked up Ship of Magic by Robin Hop. I did have the mass market picker back, but that wasn't going to work for me, honestly. Um, so I have the UK paperback. I'm very excited. I'm buddy reading this with Nicole. I'm probably going to start this today, actually. If, if not today, then tomorrow. But I love Robin Hop. The Far Series trilogy I read last year, one of my favorite series of all time, one of my best books I read last year. I'm excited to get into this because I've heard that each series, each subsequent series in the realm of the Elderlands gets better and better. So I'm excited. Um, Orbit sent me We Alive with Death by David Madsen, which is book two in the Reborn Empire series. I have book one. It's a book I want to read really soon. And I waited because I knew this one was coming out. So I can kind of marathon that. So I'll probably do a sequel series and like a dedicated vlog to these. Um, and I'll probably do a review if, at least of the first book. Because like I said, also in my goals video, if you haven't seen it, I'll link it. I want to do more reviews. So I really enjoy them. I enjoy watching them. And... I like having dedicated conversations about one specific book or series. And then last but not least, another historical fiction. 
I picked up The Found Is a Silence by Rudis Petty. I saw this in the store and I just I picked it up and then it sounded really interesting. The, co the copy in the store was damaged. I didn't order the perfect for myself. But this is a young adult historical fiction. Most of the historical fiction that I read is adult. So I thought it's interesting and I've heard like really great things about Rudis Petty's. And this one is Madrid 1957 under dictatorship and 18 year old Daniel and all this stuff. I don't know what's going on, but I want to learn more. And like I said, I already that I want to incorporate more historical fiction into my reading. So, reading plans for today. I'm done with work for today. I have some emails I need to send, but otherwise I'm done work for the day. I plan to make it to the 300 page mark of the Eye of the World, and I plan to make it at least to the 100 page mark of the Diabolic. So these are my plans for today. I'm also reading Saga Volume 9, uh, like on my iPad, so I'm going to finish that up today as well. And yeah, those are my my updates my plans the vlog will be more consistent i've decided this is going to be like my january vlog so it might be pretty long but this will be my vlog for the month of january yeah yeah that's what we're gonna do this will be my, my january reading vlog so maybe that's what i'll do maybe going forward i'll do them bi-weekly but definitely maybe at least at least one like month long reading vlog where all of my thoughts and things and all that is come together but yeah, so that's that's what I have so far. I'm gonna go do some reading while the sun is out and it's a nice day. And I will talk to y'all later. All right, so I'm back with a vlog update. It is Saturday. I did finish the diabolic yesterday. I gave it three stars. I really was enjoying it in the middle, and then it kind of got really like convoluted. Like there was a plot twist, and the plot twist was undone, and it was redone, and. It just got to be a bit much for me, but I did like it enough that I had already ordered the sequel like halfway through. So I'm going to read that, see where it goes. I don't know if I'm going to finish out the series, depending on how the, uh, the Empress, which is book two, goes. But I did enjoy it. I think it's a pretty good YA sci-fi. I like that it's high stakes. I like that it's kind of gore. I like people die. You know, that's my thing. So if you that sounds like something you're interested in, I would say check it out. And then as far as the Eye of the World... I am 55% into it. I'm on chapter 30, which is page 413. Um, so I have just over 300 pages left to go. I really want to finish this this weekend. I don't want to carry this into next week any longer than I absolutely have to. So the girl must do some reading, reading today. But nothing still really happened. It's getting a little bit more interesting, like 1%, 2%, but still nothing is happening. Although I will say I'm enjoying having multiple POVs and not just following Ram because now that everyone is separated, we're getting uh, Nanae's. Nani's POV. We're getting, uh, we're hearing from uh, Perrin, we're hearing from Lan and Moraine and all that. And so, like, the most interesting characters are Moraine and Baalzaman, who's like the dark one, but otherwise, also Tom, the 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 Gleeman is kind of interesting, but everybody else ran the bland. I could do without him. Perrin and the wolves, kind of interesting. Um, Matt is annoying. I really would like him to die, actually. So, yeah, that's kind of where I am with those. Uh, books that I'm going to be reading soon. I'm going to be picking up Ship of Magic. I'm going to be buddy reading this with Nicole from Nicole and Her Books. One of my 21 books to read in 2021. I freaking love Robin Hobb, so, like, okay. And then also The Winner of the Witch. I'm hoping to pick this up pretty soon. This is the third book in the Winter Night Trilogy, and I have been co-hosting the Winter Night Read Along for the last couple months. And this is the third and final book in that. So I have a herd of books around me because I just started a lot of vlogs and things like that for upcoming projects. But that is what I have for you all so far. I have started all the vlogs I need to for my next month of content. And I will check in with y'all once I have started something, read something, done something. Okay? <laughs> All right, friends, I am back to close out the vlog. I'm just, I just finished editing this vlog up until this clip. And the last thing I left off with was I was reading The Empress and I was reading, well, I was reading The Diabolic and then I was reading The Eye of the World. So I did finish The Diabolic, gave it three stars. I did enjoy it. And then I followed up with The Empress, which is a sequel, gave it four stars. I enjoyed that. I'll talk more in depth about those in my wrap up because I didn't even read The Empress in this vlog. And I did end up finishing The Eye of the World by Robert Jordan. I've actually already started the second book and I gave that one three stars. It was very boring. Uh, it could have been a, like three or 400 pages shorter, but I was intrigued enough to continue on in the series, like I said. So 
um thank you all for watching this video and hanging out with me this month i hope you enjoyed it i'll be posting my wrap up and all that like coming soon if you want all the books that i read like more in-depth thoughts or like uh, like succinct reviews of everything that i read this month and if you made it to the end of this video leave a spaceship emoji for binti and i will see all of you in my next one bye bye